Hello, everyone, and welcome to a special mini episode of the Day After Podcast. What's up, guys? Sorry, I didn't change my shirt. Yeah, yeah, we, this is taken right after Survivor Rivals, so uh, we didn't really do any other kind of stuff there. Uh, but we're uh, we're gonna draft our All Star teams now. Um, and since uh, I lost the last Survivor Rivals, uh, I'm going to get the first pick, and we're gonna go. Men, women, men, women. And it's going to go alternating like that. Yeah. Okay. Um, are you ready to, to begin? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm uh, writing down our teams as we go because I'm a writing guy. Cool. Sounds good. Well, my first pick and the person that I want to see the most come back for Survivor All-Stars is I'm Bill Burr. I was surprised. Bill Burr coming back for another rendition. <laughs> he deserves it. He was yeah. he, he was funny. He was entertaining, and he got really far in a celebrity uh, Survivor. So, my pick is going to be also from Celebrity Survivor, Jeffrey Dean Morgan. Yeah, look at that. I'm telling you, I think I think our Celebrity Survivor is honestly our Kagiyan. It's going to yeah. have a lot of returning players. Oh, yeah. Well, we'll see. I only say that because my next person from Celebrity Survivor is Tina Fey. Deservingly so. Yeah. yeah. She, um, she did great in that. Uh, um, she did great in that season. And, and, you she know, almost won. She was the said, one on your team. Yeah, yeah. If she won that final immunity... Uh, Jeffrey Dean Morgan goes home, and then I'm pretty sure she she either she wins, maybe gets runner up, but she's like right there. I mean, yeah, probably. So, this is the I know. Like before we recorded, I said I gave my um, priority to mostly people that were on my tribe, but since you haven't said her name, obviously it's only one. But I'm going with Kelly Wentworth. Kelly Wentworth, interesting. That was she. She was on my list, but she was a little further down than, um, than I thought. Okay. Yeah, she, um, my f- all-time fave actual player. So, yeah. Correct the mistake. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, going back over to the guys now. Um, I'm going with someone who's been on Brand Steel twice now. Um, and that is Rick Devins. Really? Yes. Uh, his, his first go, he, he got, he went to day 38, comes off at fourth place. Um, pretty entertaining that whole season. He was kind of aligning with people that he had no right to, to align with. And then his next time he becomes the first jury member, the merge boots. So he has seen the end of the jury and the beginning of the jury. He's, uh, I mean, I'm glad you chose him. I kind of figured you would. I'm just surprised because I haven't seen one name come up yet. Yeah. But did I choose him? Maybe. No. <laughs> no. no. My, uh, my, next, my next pick, we're bringing it back to Island of the Idols. It's going to be Tommy Sheehan. Tommy Sheehan. I figured you'd pick him. I figured. Yeah. I mean... My favorite, one of my favorites from, uh, you know, season 39. And I was, he was my last saving grace all throughout uh, mm-hmm. our first Brant steal. <laughs> yeah, no, that was the, yeah, no, he, 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 he did pretty good uh, getting fifth place on your team where your entire team got decimated. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, moving now back on to the women. Uh, I'm going to choose. Someone who was great entertainment value on our first brand steal, and that was Sari Fields. I don't know if you remember her too much, but she kept creating an alliance and then leaving and the then alliance. Breaks. Yeah, <laughs> I I always love you know having Sari on a you know a season, so I I dig it. 
Yeah, no, uh, I, I, I rewatched that that Brand Steel, and I was dying laughing every time. She she switched, she le- left like six alliances. She formed six alliances and then left them. <laughs> nice. Uh, so that was a great addition. So on my tribe, coming off the cusp of rivals, we're going with Sarah. With Let's Sarah, see. nice. That's a good one. Why? Because she's awesome. <laughs> also, we can't have the yang without the ying or yin. Mm-hmm. Yeah, are you expecting me to pick up a certain someone? Yes. <laughs> What's happening? Tony Blockos, get over here. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was surprised he wasn't your number one choice. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I wanted, I, I really wanted Bill Burr. I, I, I really enjoyed bill burr's game i like if i i knew tony would get picked up by you if i didn't pick him up <laughs> no i knew he was your i knew he was your baby so i wasn't gonna yeah. touch him okay <laughs> yeah no tony tony I, I i really wasn't gonna pick him if he didn't make like the finale if he made the finale it was a lock but if he didn't i wasn't gonna pick him fair enough but uh yeah glad to have um Tony in another season, also with uh, Lucina Sarah. So yeah, rivals. Look at that. <laughs> fifth time together. Uh, oh, right. I, also we oh. got to say uh, Tony and Sarah were on a season together, and they didn't win, and they both made it to the end. I think we just doomed them. Yeah. Well, oh, darn. Okay. Right. So my next pick is going to be Colby. Colby, nice. Because he did so well in, um, you know, the final season that we did uh, on Rivals. He did such a great job where I feel like he has to make it. Um, and he beat a two-time winner. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah no. He, yeah, he beat a two-time winner and a winner. Like, so, yeah. <laughs> typically, when you, when you see a winner at the finals, you kind of assume, like, they're going to get votes because they're a winner. <laughs> like, a yeah. winner made it to the end again. So, so props to him for yeah. him never have winning, making it to the true win only once. Uh, and he won in a 7-1 to vote. Yeah. Yeah. And I voted for him, too. Yeah, impressive. Um, okay, going back over to the women, I'm picking up Poverty shallow. Yeah. Uh, she's now, a, she's, she's our original winner. She is our Richard Hatch of Brant Steel. So we gotta bring her back for all stars. Exactly. Alright. So next up is going to be from Survivor Celebrities. It's gonna be Melissa Fumero. Melissa, oh, interesting. She did pretty well in challenges and stuff, so I feel like she's worthy of a spot. Mm-hmm. I thought Catherine Newton would have gotten your first female spot. I didn't want to be too obvious with it. I mean, she's on my list. I'll say Catherine Newton is on my list. How far up your list? Pretty far up. Like, you have to get, like, all my, my females. <laughs> Pretty far up, you say? Yeah, or down, I guess. Oh, far down, as in yeah, like far you're down. Not... Yeah, she she's my number nine. <laughs> oh well, don't have to worry. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm gonna pick up someone from your team, though. Still, it's gonna happen right here. Here's my me picking up someone, and that is Cole Sprouse from Celebrity Survivor. <laughs> yeah. He kind of deserved it. Yeah. Um, just never having any alliances and going into like you know the uh, to final seven, mm-hmm. just like <laughs> he has to. yeah. I, I want to see him play again. I want to see if he can play with alliances. I think he. Hmm. I think. I mean, there's always room for growth the second time you play. Mm-hmm. So I guess so. Yeah. All right, so for my number four pick, I'm going to choose Zeke. Zeke, the, ooh. The first person that ever gave me 
hope of winning. Yeah. Steel. Yeah. He started he, it all. He, he, it was close. It was him and Christian. I will say I don't have Christian on my list. I'm not going to bring Christian back. He's going to be the winner that gets excluded. Unless you pick him up. I don't think you're going to pick him up, though. <laughs> um, yeah, like, I think he's like a John Cochran in the sense, like, in multiple senses, but I think he he won, and he's okay with knowing he won, and that's good enough. <laughs> like, he doesn't want to come. It's a diminishing return for him. I feel, yeah, sometimes that just happens. Well, statistically speaking, it's most likely likely to happen to winners, so... Yeah, I can see that. Um, yeah. and especially since he is part of the John Cochran archetype, I can totally um, see him doing that IRL. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So um, it's my turn now, right? With the women? Yes. Okay. I'm bringing back someone from Survivor Rivals, um, and that is Francesca Hoagie. Understandable. Very <laughs> She played a great game. I think I think uh, you know one of the best moves we've seen on Brand Steel. Um, really, just that move alone earned her the spot. I agree. All right, now for mine, we talked about her, and to be fair, she was actually number six, but because of another celebrity, um, she was moved up. Um, so. Catherine Newton, you're on my tribe. Nice. Got the Catherine Newton again. Mm hmm. Nice. Hmm. Okay, right. so I will say so this is my final guy pick. And I'm stuck between a rock and a dam. We got Rob Sesternino and Chicken Morris. And I'm trying to figure out which one is the best one to go with. Um. Because I, I really love both of them. I think they both played great games in their brand steel seasons. Jake and Morris, right before the merge, but he played a great pre-merge up to that point. Great character. And Rob Cesternino made it to the final six, did really good, kind of strategically controlled that season. Um, you know, I think if looking at this list, we don't have too many early boots. Mm -hmm. Or not early boots, but like, you know, mid-range. So... I feel like doing a couple of those might help balance things out. Yeah. Okay, you know what? Ryan, you convinced me. Chicken Morris, you're on my tribe. Nice. <laughs> Who All right. Thunk? I, you know, like, I, I was surprised. Um, I mean, it, it, you know, sometimes it's just hard choosing who to bring. Um, and I know how much you love Rob, too. Yeah. So... I know it was a tough decision. Yeah. Uh, I, you know, I, can I recommend someone for you to pick up if you don't mind? Who? It's, someone, it's someone on your tribe that you picked. I want you to bring back Bob Crowley. He was my number six. Ah. But I feel one person, one guy, he was taken down before his prime. Ryan, don't you dare. <laughs> Ryan! <laughs> he was Ryan. considered too much of a strategic threat. And they knew. Ryan. They knew. They had to get rid of him. Ryan, don't you dare. <laughs> Ryan Wayne. He was originally going to be on Celebrity Survivor, but they didn't count his music video as good enough. He even was like, hey, I was in. I was in, you know, a video on Facebook Watch, a series, and they were like, no, Ryan, go away. But I'm like, all right, but now we have like a, we have like a Boston Robin Amber thing going on this season with Catherine Newton and Ryan Wayne. <laughs> Okay, you got it. I, I can't. I can tell you're not going to budge. I'm a Slytherin. We are determined people. 
also, she and I are together on the team. I don't, I don't know if you can see. <laughs> okay, well, there's that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's see. Who do I want to bring back for my final person? Um, I don't know. This this is the tough one. I feel I have I have some girls that uh they're okay. I I wouldn't mind bringing them back, but I'm not sure if they're like wow. Um, yeah. So I'm going to bring back. Another pre-merge boot. Someone else who went pre-merge. Um, and she had meltdown after meltdown in her oh, four God. episodes that she was in. And that is the great Monica Culpepper. Yeah, I dig <laughs> it. I dig it. You know she's one of my faves. Uh-huh. Uh, all right, so for me... It boils down to two people. Um, one, it's Jerry. And she was one of my picks before this season. And she even did great in this season, too. And then my other pick would be uh, Tina. Because mm-hmm. she, did, she did pretty decent in uh, our first ever one. Mm-hmm. Um, so... Yeah, Um, because I want to say Jerry, but at the same time, I feel, let's see how Colby does without Jerry a season. Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't know. What are your uh, thoughts on it? I mean, uh, it would be great to see Colby and Jerry again, but... Actually, because they made it to the finale with each other in Outback, that could be a good reason. Mm-hmm. So, either way, someone from Outback is coming. Yeah. <laughs> so, do you, you know do what? you want to bring back a winner or a non-winner? I'm gonna. Th- I think I'm gonna bring back uh, Tina. Tina. Can... Okay. All right. Well, gonna re- there we have it. So we... let's yeah. let's do a little recap. Okay. Uh, here, I'll go, I'll go through my team first, and then you can go through your team. All right. So I have Bill Burr, Rick Devins, Cole Sprouse, Tony Vlachos, uh, and Chicken Morris is my guys. And then my females, I have Tina Fey, Sari Fields, Poverty Shallow, Francesca Hoagie, and Monica Culpepper. I really enjoy your team. Uh one, I, it, I, I just feel like you have like a really solid team of people. I think it's I think it's a pretty strong cast right here. Yes, yes, I agree. All right, so on my tribe for the dudes, we have Jeffrey Dean Morgan, we have Tommy Sheehan, we have Colby, we have Zeke, and we have Ryan Wayne. And for the girls. We have Kelly Wentworth, Lacina Sarah, Melissa Mufero, uh, <laughs> Melissa <laughs> Mufero, <laughs> Catherine Wayne. I mean Catherine Newton. <laughs> Catherine Wayne, you're already assuming you guys are gonna get married. <laughs> it, it, we're gonna make it to the end, and then I'm gonna pull around, <laughs> and then our final pick is gonna, uh, and the final girl is going to be Tina. Okay. Um, I, I definitely think you have a really strong set of girls on your team. I think your girls yeah. are very, um, very, very, very strong. Um, and then even guys, you got, you got Tommy, you got Jeffrey Dean Morgan. Yeah, you have a pretty good team. Yeah. Um, and Colby, let's just not forget how well he did. In- yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm scared to face Colby now. I never thought I would say that. <laughs> you know, it, that's why we're bringing him back. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, I'm looking forward to All Stars. Uh, we've had 
and this also just because since we're tied 2-2 with our Brant Steels, this is the tiebreaker for it. Yeah, uh, this is do or die. For me, it's do or rye. In. That, rye in, yes, yes. Yeah, rye in. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, well, I think that's about does it for this little mini day after podcast episode. Uh, yep. Hope you guys all enjoyed it. Uh, see you next week for the finale of the season of Brant Steel. Take care, guys. We'll see you then. Adios.